Okemos Public School District is talking about changing its mascot. On Wednesday, they held the first public meeting to get input from the community on dropping the chieftain's name in favor of a new one. In 2011, the district removed all images of Native Americans from logos and sports memorabilia. Phasing out of that, the silhouettes, like the chieftain headdress or the chief headdress, um, as our logo. And um, that actually shifted us to our new logo, which is the O with the word Chiefs through the middle of it. While the logo was changed, the chieftain name stayed. Last summer, students and alumni wrote a letter to the school board asking them to drop the name. Some of our alumni reached out and said, you know, we, we, we want you to look into this mascot idea, um, this, this name, you know, you're, you're Okemos and you're saying Chiefs. And is that, is that reflective of, of your current values? Superintendent John Hood put together a committee to review the mascot. That included some students, you know, coaches, um, community members, some Native Americans, some teachers, athletic directors, administrators. And on Wednesday, they continued discussion of a possible name change through an informational meeting allowing community members to weigh in. Speakers included students. And as you see here, there's a little asterisk next to the folks who um, left the committee. People left on good grounds. Um, this is very taxing emotional work, even <laughs> just talking about a mascot. And Aaron Payment, tribal chairperson of Sault Ste. Marie Tribe of Chippewa Indians. And so I'm asking you to please consider um, the effect on American Indians. The panel went over pros and cons of changing the name. And then there's also the opportunity for a new mascot and nickname that may bring community together over time. The committee, who has been reviewing this for several months, said their initial recommendation is to change the name. And our hope from this is that the district's reputation is impacted positively as a result of the work. Payment said there are other names the district could consider using to honor indigenous people. Actually, I would maybe suggest that you change it to um, Ogima, Okemos, because chief is not a word that's indigenous. It's not our word. Um, our word is Ogima. If the name change is passed by the Board of Education, there will be a financial impact, but the district isn't sure how much it will cost yet. Things like uniforms, things like our, you know, our, our gymnasium floors, um, scoreboards, we're really doing an evaluation of everywhere we, where we have um, our, our nickname chiefs. Melanie Lynn? Yes. Dean Bolton? Aye. Mary Jabara? Yes. Andy Phelps? Aye. And I vote yes. Seven to nothing. After months of consideration, the Okemos School Board voted unanimously to change the chieftain name. The district removed all Native American images from memorabilia in 2011, but the name stayed. After the vote on Monday night, the name is expected to be phased out by September of 2023. A mascot committee made up of students, alumni, school staff, and Native Americans, along with Superintendent John Hood, submitted formal recommendations to change the name prior to Monday night's meeting. Hood said this decision isn't wiping away the school's past, but hopes this decision will create unity for the district. We can continue our lens of honoring Native Americans in a way that their voices say they want to be honored, in educating our community and increasing their understanding of the why of the journey over time, not placing blame on the past, not erasing our past but increasing our understanding of the journey so we can make that a teachable moment now and into the future for our students. This decision will come with a financial impact. The exact cost has not yet been determined, but estimates show costs to be around $400,000. New name recommendations have not yet been released. With the Okemos School Board's recent decision to change the Chieftain mascot comes a lot of questions. How much will it cost? Where will the money come from? And what's next for a town that's literally named after Chief Okemos? I sat down with a school district who changed their mascot five years ago to learn about what their experience was like. And it's just about uh, providing that uh, positive learning environment for students uh, of all races. It's been an ongoing debate. We need uh, to, to, to make the change and retire certain mascots that do have a negative uh, impact. From high school mascots to professional sports. What we consider the R word, uh, the former mascot for the Washington 
uh, football team. Teams are changing logos that objectify and stereotype Native Americans. Redmen chiefed, of course, with the uh, Okemos issue um, up right now. Uh, chieftains. Chiefs is among one of the most commonly used Native American high school mascot names in the United States, used by 107 schools. After an Okemos school board meeting Monday night. Melanie Lynn? Yes. Dean Bolton? Aye. That 107 will go down to 106. Seven to nothing. The Okemos district is not the first in Michigan to change their name. We ended up voting 7-0 from our board in November of 2016 to, to move on from the Redskin mascot. Belding Area School Superintendent Brent Noski says their mascot debate started with wrestling t-shirts. Some parents had bought shirts for the kids and they had a Native American headdress on it with a skeleton. The superintendent before Noski had a policy in place that only allowed for the term to be used, not imagery. Parents didn't agree. If we can't embrace our mascot, as is and use the imagery and use the term and not be embarrassed about doing so, then either let us do that or, or change it. The district held community forums where even alumni showed support for the change. He came in wearing his redskin letter jacket from, I believe it was like 1950 something. And he said, you know, I was proud wearing this at the, at the time we did not know ill will towards anyone. He goes, but the time has come to and he took his jacket off. He said the time has come to move on. They became the Black Knights, but changing a mascot and logo can be costly. When it comes to apparel, when it comes to scoreboards, uh, when it comes to changing the school signage, letterhead, stuff like that, it does add up. Jamie Stuck is the chairperson for the Native American Heritage Fund board. When we were able to come up with the Native American Heritage Fund, um, this not only provided, um, uh, you know, we weren't trying to provide the problem, but we were trying to provide the solution to the problems. That solution was to give grants to schools wanting to change their mascot. We were the first school group to receive funding from that group, and, and I think they wanted to make a statement, and they um, wrote us a check for $335,000. Noski says without the grant, it would have taken the district years to phase out their mascot name. It would have taken probably five or six years to really phase everything out. Stuck says the reason the name Chief and Chieftain is often offensive to Native American tribes is because it's not the correct term. Chief is, is more of an English name. We refer to Chief as Ogama. So what does the Okemos mascot name change mean for the town named after Chief Okemos? There isn't any tribe out there that is asking for the change of the city or any of the other plaques and, and statues. Um, that, that do honor uh, Ogama Okemos. It's a question that could come up again in the future, but as of now, he says it's just about honoring Ogima Okemos in the correct way. We just want to make sure that, uh, you know, whatever way um, our, our culture, our traditions, our values are portrayed, that it's done in a good way and, and, and in, a, in a correct way. Belding just entered its fifth year with a new mascot. Noski says they made the right decision. I have no regrets um, in what we did. Um, I think it was the right thing to do, and um, we're a better place for it. Okemos estimates the cost to be around $427,000 to completely phase out their current mascot and is considering applying for a grant through the Native American Heritage Fund. No replacement names have been released yet, but the district hopes to transition to the new mascot by September of 2023. Your neighborhood reporter in Okemos, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News. Otters, badgers, and wolves, oh my. No, I'm not listing off animals you can find in the zoo. These are three of the 10 choices for Okemos Public Schools' next mascot. The list also includes the bears, coyotes, eagles, grizzlies, ocelots, ospreys, and owls. Okemos School District residents were asked to select their top three choices, but the window for voting is now closed. Superintendent John Hood says the Carolina blue and maroon colors will stay because the district wants to make sure its alumni still feel included. Hood says the next step is narrowing it down to three to five options for current students to vote on. Fourth through twelfth graders are set to vote later this week.
So we've done two community surveys and had over 7,000 responses on our last one, um, including I think over 3,000 by alumni alone. So they really weighed in loud and strong on the names they want us to consider. And now we're kind of shifting to the student voice to make sure that our current students feel validated in the process and that they have some say in what their their identity will be. Okemos schools were given $213,000 by the Native American Heritage Fund to help cover the $400,000 cost to replace the mascot. Hood says he hopes to have a new mascot chosen by mid-April. We've been talking about the Okemos School District's efforts to change its mascot for several months, and now the choices are narrowed down to four. But who are the people discussing that change? Well, I'm going to introduce you to a couple, and they're younger than you might think. I'm Isabella. I'm in ninth grade. My name is Sneet. I'm a sophomore. Hello, I'm Brianna. I'm part of the student committee. I am in 11th grade. I'm in ninth grade, and I'm really excited to be here. These four Okemos High School students are part of a big change for the school district. I'm really excited about the whole mascot change in the process. They're part of the student mascot committee made up of four students from each grade. The most amazing things about being in education is watching kids rise to the challenge when you give them a challenge. And each student has a reason why they chose to be a part of the committee. I'm always looking for ways to bring people together and just to better the world around us. Like Isabella and her heritage. I'm of Native American heritage and um, it's a huge part of my family and of the community. Or Sunit and her school involvement. The one I love the most is probably the marching band. And the mascot is used in our cheers and uh, something called the series. But the one reason they all have in common to create a perfect mascot. Inclusive, progressive, respectful, representative. The student mascot committee has been tasked with sorting through the community surveys. It was overwhelming a little. Debating and working together. There was not a good input from a lot of people um, and it was very different and diverse. We were able to like come up with very good rationale. And ruling out submissions. We had a two thirds majority where if 10 out of the 15 kids were okay with putting it through, then it would go through. Some options didn't make the cut because they wouldn't age well. Like Okemos puppies, you know, that kind of a thing where, you know, of course the lovely second graders were like, oh my gosh, it'd be amazing. But you know, once they get to high school, it's not gonna be quite as amazing. Others didn't fit the inclusivity vision the students set out to meet. Lions was one of the ones on the list initially. And um, there was talk about, well, we don't want to do that because there are the male and female lions look so vastly different, so we'd have to make a choice in how we represent, and we don't want to favor one over the other. The vision the student committee wanted to meet led them to a lot of questions. How can we respect um, the past and respect our alumni while also moving forward? And answers. A way to respect our alumni was our colors so that they could still have that kind of sense of attachment with our mascot. The decision has been narrowed down to four choices, which will be ranked by third through 12th graders. Teachers had talking points and um, had some discussions with their, their students around what is a mascot and a nickname and why is it important to a school and community. And sorted through by the mascot committee. We'll look at the data and then we'll ask ourselves, do we think that this is something that's representative of all community of the whole community but whatever the final decision may be as time progresses we'll like we can make traditions around it we can make chants you know football games whatever like you know we can use it we can make memories and it will feel like okamis these four students take pride in the work they put I'm in very very proud of us creating a change in the school's history we see native american mascots everywhere and it's not okay as a whole, it's it's so, you know, it gives me so much hope um, to see that we made this change. That will live on long after they graduate. It's just about those next steps. And, you know, now that we've kind of solved the problems, we can, we can just keep making this community a better place.
Once the student mascot committee sorts through the ranked data, they will make a recommendation to the school board on January 24th, and a new mascot will be chosen. Your neighborhood reporter in Okemos, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.